Tiếng Anh 5 Students Book 2 Unit 11 What's the matter with you? Lesson 1 Activity 1 Look, listen and repeat A Tony, get up! Breakfast ready? Sorry, I can't have breakfast, Mum. B. Why not? What's the matter with you? I don't feel well. I have a headache. C. Oh, you have a fever too. Yes, Mum. I feel very hot. D. What's the matter with Tony? He has a fever. I'll take him to the doctor after breakfast. Activity 2. Point and say. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. A. A toothache. B. An earache. C. A sore throat. D. A stomachache. 3. Let's talk. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. What's the matter with you, Nam? I have a bad toothache. Oh, poor you! 2. Where's Peter, Linda? He can't come to school today. He's seeing the doctor. What's the matter with him? He has a stomach ache. 3. I can't see Linda. Where is she? She's at home today. What's the matter with her? She has a bad headache. Oh, really? Let's go and see her after school. 4. Hello? Hi, Mai. It's Tony. S sorry, I can't hear you. It's Tony. It's Tony. Oh, Tony. What's the matter with your voice? I have a bad sore throat. Sorry, I can't meet you today. Brilliant. 5. Read and complete. 1. She has a pain in her tooth. She has a toothache. 2. Nam has a high temperature. He has a fever. 3. Mai has a pain in her ear. She has an earache. 4. Quan has a pain in his stomach. He has a stomach ache. 5. Linda has a pain in her throat. She has a sore throat. Excellent. Activity 6. Let's sing. What's the matter with you? Come on, get up. Get out of bed. It's time to go to school. I'm sorry, Mum. I don't feel well. I have a headache and a fever, too. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, Mum. I don't feel well. I have a toothache and a sore throat, too. Come on, get up. Get out of bed. It's time to go to school. I'm sorry, Mum. I don't feel well. I have a headache and a fever, too. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, Mum. I don't feel well. I have a toothache and a sore throat, too. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen and repeat. A. Where's Nam? I can't see him here. 
He's sitting over there in the corner of the gym. B. Hi, Nam. Why aren't you practicing karate? I don't feel well. I have a backache. Sorry to hear that. C. You should go to the doctor now, Nam. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mai. D. You should take a rest and shouldn't play sports for a few days. Thank you, Doctor. Activity 2. Point and say. You should go to the doctor. Yes, I will. Thanks. You shouldn't carry heavy things. OK, I won't. Thanks. A. Go to the doctor. B. Go to the dentist. C. Take a rest. D. Eat a lot of fruit. E. Carry heavy things. F. Eat a lot of sweets. Activity 4. Listen and complete. 1. I don't feel very well. What's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. Sorry to hear that. You should go to the doctor now, Gwen. OK, I will. Thanks. 2. You don't look very well. What's the matter with you? I have a fever. Let me see. Oh, you're very hot. You shouldn't go to school today. 3. Let's have ice cream. Great idea. Sorry, I can't. What's the matter with you, Fong? I have a bad toothache. Oh, then you shouldn't eat ice cream. How about milk? Good idea. Thanks, Mai. Four. Hi, Mrs Green. What's the matter with you? Oh, I have a backache. Sorry to hear that. Oh, you shouldn't carry heavy things. Let me help you. Thanks, Nam. That's very kind of you. 5. Read and complete. Then say aloud. 1. Where's Fong? He can't go to school today. Why not? What's the matter with him? He has a bad cough and is going to see the doctor this morning. Oh, really? Pour him. 2. What's the matter with you, Tony? I have a pain in my stomach. Oh, dear. You should take a rest now and go to the doctor later. Yes, I will. Thanks, my. Excellent. 6. Let's play. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. 1. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. 2. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. 3. What's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. Activity 2. Listen and circle A or B. Then ask and answer. 1. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. 2. What's the matter with you? I have a backache. 3. What's the matter with you? I have a stomach ache. 4. What's the matter with you? I have a pain in my stomach.
Well done. Activity 3. Let's chant. What's the matter with you? One, two, three, four. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. You should go to the dentist. You shouldn't eat lots of sweets. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. You should go to the doctor. You shouldn't watch too much TV. One, two, three, four. What's the matter with you? I have a toothache. You should go to the dentist. You shouldn't eat lots of sweets. What's the matter with you? I have a headache. You should go to the doctor. You shouldn't watch too much TV. 4. Read and match. Then say. 1. Wash your hands before having meals. 2. Eat healthy foods. 3. Do morning exercise regularly. 4. Brush your teeth twice a day. 5. Keep your nails short and clean. 6. Take a shower every day. Well done. 5. Write your advice. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Unit 12. Don't ride your bike too fast. Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. What are you doing, Mary? I'm cutting the cabbage. B. Don't play with the knife. You may cut yourself. OK. C. What are you doing with the stove? I want to cook the cabbage. D. Don't touch the stove. You may get a burn. OK. I won't. Activity 2. Point and say. Don't play with matches. OK. I won't. A. Play with matches. B. Ride your bike too fast. C. Climb the tree. D. Run down the stairs. 3. Let's talk. What are you doing with the stove? I want to cook the cabbage. Don't touch the stove. You may get a burn. OK. I won't. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. What are you doing with the knife, Mary? I'm cutting the fruit. Don't play with the sharp knife. You may cut yourself. OK. I won't, Mom. 2. I'm going to run down the stairs. Don't do it. Why not? It's dangerous. OK. 3. Hey, Chung. Where are you going? I'm riding to the sports centre. Don't ride your bike too fast. Don't worry. I won't. 4. What are you doing here, Nam? Look. I'm going to climb the tree to pick some apples. Don't climb the tree. OK, I won't. Brilliant. 5. Read and complete. One day.
Peter was bored. He was in his room and his mother was cooking in the kitchen. She asked loudly, Where are you, Peter? He answered, I'm upstairs, Mum. His mother heard him running down and said, Don't run down the stairs. Peter replied, Okay, I won't do it again, Mum. Well done. Activity 6. Let's sing. Don't do that. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Look. What are these children doing, class? They're looking at the apples on the tree. B. What is this boy doing? He's climbing the apple tree. C. Should he do that? No, he shouldn't. D. Why shouldn't he climb the tree? Because he may fall and break his leg. Activity 2. Point and say. Why shouldn't I play with the knife? Because you may cut yourself. A. Play with the knife. Cut yourself. B. Play with the stove. Get a burn. C. Ride too fast. Fall off your bike. D. Run down the stairs. Break your arm. 3. Let's talk. What is he doing? He's climbing the apple tree. He shouldn't do that. Why shouldn't he climb the tree? Because he may fall and break his leg. Activity 4. Listen and complete with one word. 1. You shouldn't use that knife. Why not? Because it's very sharp. OK, Mum. Sorry. 2. Hey, Nam, you shouldn't climb the wall. Why not? Because you may fall and break your leg. OK, I won't. 3. You shouldn't play with the stove, Mai. Why not? Because you may get a burn. Right. Thank you, Peter. 4. Tom, 
Don't ride too fast. Why not? Because you may fall off your bike and break your arm. Okay, I'll slow down. Brilliant. Five. Read and complete. Excellent. Six. Let's play. Lesson three. Activity one. Listen and repeat. One. Don't play with the knife. Okay, I won't. Two. Don't play with matches. Okay, I won't. Three. Why shouldn't I play with the knife? Because you may cut yourself. Four. Why shouldn't I play with the stove? Because you may get a burn. Activity two. Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. One. Don't play with the knife. Two. Don't climb the wall. Three. Why shouldn't he ride his motorbike too fast? Four. Why shouldn't she play with the stove? Brilliant. Activity three. Let's chant. Why shouldn't he do that? One, two, three, four. Look at Jim. What's he doing? He's riding his bike too fast. Should he ride it too fast? No, he shouldn't. Why not? He may fall off his bike. Look at Mary. What's she doing? She's playing with a cat on the street. Should she play with the cat? No, she shouldn't. Why not? It may scratch her face. One, two, three, four. Look at Jim. What's he doing? He's riding his bike too fast. Should he ride it too fast? No, he shouldn't. Why not? He may fall off his bike. Look at Mary. What's she doing? She's playing with a cat on the street. Should she play with the cat? No, she shouldn't. Why not? It may scratch her face. Four. Circle the best title. Falling is a common type of accident for young children at home. Your baby brother or sister may fall off a bed or a sofa. He or she may also fall down the stairs. The following tips can help to keep your baby brother or sister safe. Excellent. 4. Tick true. T or fools. F. Falling is a common type of accident for young children at home. Your baby brother or sister may fall off a bed or a sofa. He or she may also fall down the stairs. The following tips can help to keep your baby brother or sister safe. Excellent. 5. Write what may happen. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Unit 13. What do you do in your free time? Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Hi, Nam. Uh, hi, Tom. Come in. B. What are you doing? I'm watching the world of animals. C. Do you like watching animal programs? Yes. I often watch them in my free time. D. What about you? What do you do in your free time? 
I ride my bike in the park. 2. Point and say. What do you do in your free time? I surf the internet. A. Surf the internet. B. Go to the cinema. C. Clean the house. D. Do karate. 3. Let's talk. Do you like my new picture, Nam? Yes. What do you do in your free time? I ride my bike in the park. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. Do you like my new picture, Nam? Yes. It's so nice. How often do you draw pictures, Mary? I usually draw pictures in my free time. 2. What do you do in your free time, Linda? I often go to the cinema. Do you go to the zoo? Not very often. 3. Where were you yesterday, Fong? I was at the karate club. Oh, can you do karate? Yes, of course. I usually do karate in my free time. Brilliant. 5. Read and complete. What do you do in your free time, Quan? I often watch sports programs on TV. What about you, Hoa? I go to the music club with my friends. How often do you go to the music club? Twice a week. What do you do there? I dance and sing songs. Excellent. 6. Let's play. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Hello, Akiko. May I ask you some questions for my survey? Sure. B. What do you do in your free time? I watch cartoons on TV. C. OK. Watching cartoons. How about your mother? What does she do in her free time? She goes shopping. D. OK. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 2. Point and say. What does your father do in his free time? He goes fishing. What does your mother do in her free time? She goes swimming. A. Father, go fishing. B. Mother, go swimming. C. Brother, go skating. D. Sister, go camping. 3. Let's talk. What does your father do in his free time? He listens to music. He does karate twice a week. Activity 4. Listen and circle A, B or C. Hi. My name is Huang. In my free time, I often go skating with my friends because I like sports very much. My father likes sports too. He does karate twice a week. My mother doesn't like sports. She likes shopping. She often goes shopping at weekends. And my sister likes housework. 
She often cleans our house in her free time. Excellent. Five. Write about what your family members do in their free time. Activity six. Let's sing. What do you do in your free time? Hello, my friend. How are you? What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I go camping. I go camping with my friends. Hello, my friend. How are you? What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I go fishing. I go fishing with my friends. Hello, my friend. How are you? What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I go camping. I go camping with my friends. Hello, my friend. How are you? What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I go fishing. I go fishing with my friends. Lesson three, activity one. Listen and repeat. One. Listen and repeat. One. What do you do in your free time? I surf the internet. Two. What does he do in his free time? He listens to music. Three. What does she do in her free time? She goes shopping. Four. What do they do in their free time? They go camping. Activity two: Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. One: What do you do in your free time? I clean the house. Two: What does she do in her free time? She goes skating. Three. What does he do in his free time? He goes to the cinema. Four. What do they do in their free time? They work in the garden. Excellent. Activity three. Let's chant. What do you do? One, two. Three, four. What do you do in your free time? I watch cartoons. I watch cartoons. What does he do in his free time? He goes fishing. He goes fishing. What does she do in her free time? She goes shopping. She goes shopping. One, two. Three, four. What do you do in your free time? I watch cartoons. I watch cartoons. What does he do in his free time? He goes fishing. He goes fishing. What does she do in her free time? She goes shopping. She goes shopping. Four. Read and match. My name is Lean. In my free time, I often go camping with my family. The camp is in the forest near the Red River. We go there by bus in the morning. My father likes fishing in the river. My mother likes drawing. She often draws pictures of the camp. I often go hiking in the forest because I like sports. We return home late in the evening. We enjoy camping very much. Five. Write about what your family do at weekends. Six. Project. Seven. Color the star. Unit fourteen. What happened in the story? Lesson one. Activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. 
Watermelons are so delicious. We have a Vietnamese story about watermelons called the story of My An Tiem. Oh, really? What happened in the story? B. First, King Hung ordered My An Tiem and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. Then, one day. An Chum found some black seeds and he grew them. The seeds gave watermelons. C. Next, An Chum's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. D. Oh, they were lucky in the end, right? In the end, King Hung heard about the story. And he let An Chum and his family go back home. Activity two, point and say. What happened in the story? First, King Hung. Ordered My An Tiem and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. A. King Hung ordered My An Tiem and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. B. One day, An Tiem found some black seeds and he grew them. The seeds gave watermelons. C. Antium's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. D. King Hung heard about the story, and he let Antium and his family go back home. Three. Let's talk. What happened in the story? Activity four. Listen and number. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She lived in a very big castle. She was unhappy because she couldn't walk. One day, a prince visited the castle and met the princess. He wanted to help her. He gave her an apple and said. This magic apple can make you walk. The princess ate the apple. Then the next morning, the princess woke up. She was so surprised because she could walk. She felt very happy. She ran and danced in the castle. In the end. The prince and the princess got married, and they lived happily ever after. Brilliant. Five. Read and complete. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She lived in a very big castle. She was unhappy because she couldn't walk. One day, a prince visited the castle and met the princess. He gave her an apple and said, "This magic apple can make you walk." The princess ate the apple. Then, the next morning, the princess woke up. She was so surprised because she could walk. She felt very happy. She ran and danced in the castle. In the end, the prince and the princess got married, and they lived happily ever after. Brilliant. Activity six. Let's sing. Once upon a time. Once upon a time.
Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who lived in a castle by the sea. Then one day, she met a handsome prince. She met. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who lived in a castle by the sea. Then one day, she met a handsome prince. She married. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. What are you doing, Linda? I'm reading the golden starfruit tree. B. Oh, I read it last week. What do you think of the two brothers? I think the older brother is very greedy. C. Yeah, you're right. How about the younger one? He's very kind. D. Do you like the story? Yes, I do. We can learn a lesson from it. Don't be so greedy. Activity 2. Point and say. What do you think of the mouse? I think it is intelligent. A. The mouse. Intelligent. B. Auntie M. Hard working. C. The older brother. Greedy. D. Snow White. Kind. 3. Let's talk. What story do you like best? I like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What do you think of the main character? I think she's kind. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. What story do you like best? I like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What do you think of the main character? I think she's kind. 2. What are you reading, Peter? I'm reading the story of my Auntie M. What do you think of my Auntie M? I think he's hard working. 3. What are you reading, Nam? Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. What do you think of Aladdin? He's generous. Well done. 5. Write about your favourite book. 6. Let's play. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. What happened in the story? First, King Hung ordered Mai An Tiem and his family to live on an island. Then one day, An Tiem found some black seeds and he grew them. Next, An Tiem's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. In the end, King Hong let An Tiem and his family go back home. 2. Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. 1. First, the poor girl went to the forest. 
two. Then she met an old man. Three. Next, he gave her three wishes. Four. In the end, she married a prince. Excellent. Activity three. Listen to the story. The fox and the crow. A long time ago, there was a fox and a crow. The crow stood on the roof of a house with a piece of meat in its beak. The hungry fox was standing on the ground. The fox asked the crow, "Can you give me some meat?" The crow shook its head. Then the fox asked, "Can you dance?" The crow shook its head. Then the fox asked, "Can you sing?" Yes, the crow opened his beak and said. He dropped the meat on the ground. The fox picked up the meat and said, "Ha ha! Thanks for the meat." Four, read and write. Hi, I'm I. My hobby is reading folk tales. Folk tales are usually short and interesting. They often give me one surprise after another. The characters are sometimes honest, sometimes greedy, sometimes wise, sometimes stupid. I like the fox and the crow very much. The fox was clever and the crow was not. The crow lost its delicious meat and the fox got it. I love folk tales very much because each of them gives me a lesson in life. Five, write about the characters in your favorite story. Six, project. Seven, color the star. Unit fifteen. What would you like to be in the future? Lesson one. Activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. What would you like to be in the future, Tony? I'd like to be a pilot. B. Is that why you work out so much in the gym? Yes. Pilots have to be strong. C. So, would you like to fly a plane? Yes, of course. There's only one problem. D. What's that? I'm scared of heights. Activity two. Point and say. What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a doctor. What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be an architect. A. Pilot. B. Doctor. C. Architect. D. Writer. Three, let's talk. What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a doctor. Activity four. Listen and tick. One. Hi, Mai. What are you doing? I'm writing a short story. Oh. What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a writer. I'd like to write stories for children. Two. Would you like to be a teacher in the future, Linda? No, I'd like to be an architect. I see. You like drawing, don't you? Yes, I do. Three. What would you like to be in the future, Huang? I'd like to be a pilot. I would like to fly a plane. So you have to study hard, right? Yes, that's right. Brilliant. Five. Look and write. One. What would you like to be in the future, Howe? I'd like to be a teacher. Two. What would Mary like to be when she grows up? 
She'd like to be a doctor. 3. What would Linda and Trung like to do when they leave school? They'd like to be architects. Brilliant. Activity 6. Let's sing. What would you like to be in the future? What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a teacher. What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a nurse. What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to write stories for children. What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a teacher. What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a nurse. What would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to write stories for children. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen and repeat. A. What would you like to be in the future, Mai? I'd like to be a writer. B. Why would you like to be a writer? Because I'd like to write stories for children. C. Would you like to be a writer too, Tony? No, I'd like to be a pilot. D. A pilot? Why? Because I'd like to fly a plane. Activity 2. Point and say. Why would you like to be a pilot? Because I'd like to fly a plane. A. A nurse. Look after patients. B. A writer. Write stories for children. C. A pilot. Fly a plane. D. An architect. Design buildings. 3. Let's talk. Activity 4. Listen and circle A, B or C. 1. What would you like to be in the future, Chung? I'd like to be an architect. Why? Because I would like to design buildings for my town. 2. Would you like to be a teacher, Mai? No, I'd like to be a nurse. I'd like to look after patients. Working as a nurse is hard work. Yes, I know. But I think I'll like it. 3. Would you like to be a singer or a footballer, Tony? I'd like to be a pilot. A pilot? Why? Because I would like to fly a plane. 4. What would you like to be in the future, Tom? Let me see. Oh, I'd like to be a farmer. Farmer? Why would you like to be a farmer? 
Because I'd like to work on a farm. Excellent. 5. Read and complete. Brilliant. 6. Let's play. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. 1. What would you like to be in the future? I'd like to be a nurse. 2. Why would you like to be a nurse? Because I'd like to look after patients. Activity 2. Listen and mark the sentence intonation. Then, say the sentences aloud. 1. What would he like to be in the future? He'd like to be a teacher. 2. Where would he like to work? He'd like to work in a school. 3. Why would he like to be a teacher? Because he'd like to teach young children. Well done. Activity 3. Let's chant. What would you like to be in the future? One, two, three, four. What would you like to be? I'd like to be a nurse. What would you like to do? I'd like to look after children. Where would you like to work? I'd like to work in the mountains. I'd like to be a nurse. I'd like to look after children. I'd like to work in the mountains. One, two, three, four. What would you like to be? I'd like to be a nurse. What would you like to do? I'd like to look after children. Where would you like to work? I'd like to work in the mountains. I'd like to be a nurse. I'd like to look after children. I'd like to work in the mountains. 4. Read and tick true. T or fools. F. My name is David. I'd like to be an astronaut in the future. I'd like to fly in space and work with other people in a spaceship. It's important work and very exciting. I'd like to get out of the spaceship and walk in space. I'd also like to visit other planets. I'm studying hard at school. I hope my dream will come true one day. Brilliant. Five. Write about what you would like to be and do in the future. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Unit 16. Where's the post office? Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen and repeat. A. Excuse me. Where's the park, please? Go straight ahead. It's at the end of the street. Thank you. B. Excuse me, where's the toilet, please? It's over there, near the lake. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. C. Excuse me, is the museum near here? No, it isn't. Turn left. It's on the corner of the street, next to the theatre. Thank you. D. Excuse me, where's the post office? Turn right. It's between the supermarket and the cinema. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Activity 2. Point and say. Excuse me.
Excuse me, where's the bus stop? It's next to the stadium. A. Bus stop. Next to. Stadium. B. Pharmacy. Opposite. Market. C. Theatre. Between. Cinema. Supermarket. D. Museum. On the corner of the street. Three. Let's talk. Where's the bus stop? It's next to the stadium. Next to. Opposite. Between. On the corner of the street. Activity four. Listen and tick. One. Where's the museum? I'll take you there. Is it far? No, not at all. It's next to the stadium. We can walk. Two. Where's the supermarket, Nam? Is it far from here? Not very far. Go along the street and turn left. Okay, let's go there. Three. I want to buy some presents. Okay, let's go to the souvenir shops. Are they far from here? Yes, they are. We'll go by bus. Where's the bus stop? It's opposite the pharmacy. Four. I'd like to send these postcards. Where's the post office, Mai? Go straight ahead. Turn right at the end of the street. It's between the supermarket and the cinema. Thanks a lot, Mai. You're welcome. Brilliant. Five. Look, read, and complete. Use one of the words or phrases twice. One. The theater is opposite the stadium. Two. The cinema is between the theater and the supermarket. Three. The stadium is on the corner of the street. Four. Bus stop one is opposite bus stop two. Five. The post office is next to bus stop one. Brilliant. Activity six. Let's sing. Where's the bus stop? Excuse me, where's the bus stop? Where's the bus stop? Go straight ahead. It's on the corner at the end of the street. Excuse me, where's the park? Where's the park? Go straight ahead, then turn left. It's opposite the museum. Excuse me, where's the bus stop? Where's the bus stop? Go straight ahead. It's on the corner at the end of the street. Excuse me, where's the park? Where's the park? Go straight ahead, then turn left. It's opposite the museum. Lesson two, activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. How can we get to the zoo, Nam? You can take a bus. B. Where's the bus stop? Go out of this building, turn right. It's on the next corner. C. What bus goes to the zoo? You can take bus number twenty-two. It stops right at the zoo entrance. D. It's very kind of you, Nam. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Activity two. Point and say.
How can I get to the post office? You can walk for five minutes. A. The post office. Walk for five minutes. B. Fukuok Island. Take a boat. C. Sapa. Take a coach. D. Ho Chi Minh City. Go by plane. Three. Let's talk. How can we get to the zoo, Nam? You can take a bus. Activity four. Listen and write one word in each box. One. I want to visit Phu Quoc Island. How can I get there, Mai? You can take a boat from here in Ho Chi Minh City. Great idea! Thanks a lot, Mai. You're welcome. Two. Where's West Lake, Nam? Is it far from here? Yes, quite far. Do you want to go there? Yes, I do. How can I get there? You can take a taxi. Three. Where are you going next weekend, Mai? I'm going to Haozhang Province. Is it far from Ho Chi Minh City? Yes, quite far. How are you going to get there? I think I'll go by coach. Four. I have some friends in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm going to see them next Sunday. How are you going to get there? By plane. Great. It's faster than by coach or train. Have a nice trip. Thanks, Mai. Excellent. Five. Read and complete. Then say aloud. We're going to have a school trip next weekend. Where are you going? We're going to the zoo. Is it far from your school? No, it isn't. How are you going to get there? On foot. I'll go to Ho Chi Minh City tomorrow. How are you going to get there? By plane because I don't have much time. Have a nice trip. Thanks a lot, Mai. You're welcome. Excellent. Six. Let's play. Lesson three, activity one. Listen and repeat. One. Where's the post office? It's opposite the stadium. Two. Where's the cinema? It's next to the post office. Three. Where's the supermarket? It's on the corner of the street. Activity two. Listen and circle A or B. Then ask and answer. One. Where's the cinema? It's opposite the library. Two. Where's the restaurant? It's next to the stadium. Three. Where's the park? It's on the corner of the street. Brilliant. Activity three. Let's chant. How can we get there? One, two, three, four. Where's the park? It's not very far. How can we get there? We can go on foot. Where's the supermarket? It's at the end of the street. How can we get there? We can take a taxi. Where's Fukuok Island? It's very far from here. How can we get there? We can go by boat. One, two, three, four. 
Where's the park? It's not very far. How can we get there? We can go on foot. Where's the supermarket? It's at the end of the street. How can we get there? We can take a taxi. Where's Fuquok Island? It's very far from here. How can we get there? We can go by boat. One. Label the places. Dear Linda, I'm happy you're going to visit me. You can take bus number 12 at West Street and get off at the fifth stop. Then walk along the street for five minutes. You will see Pear Street at the end of the street. Turn left and you will see a pharmacy on the left. My house is opposite the pharmacy. It is behind the green fence. See you. Tony. 2. Answer the questions. Dear Linda, I'm happy you're going to visit me. You can take bus number 12 at West Street and get off at the fifth stop. Then walk along the street for five minutes. You will see Pear Street at the end of the street. Turn left and you will see a pharmacy on the left. My house is opposite the pharmacy. It is behind the green fence. See you. Tony. 5. Write the directions. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Unit 17. What would you like to eat? Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like some rice with fish, please. B. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of noodles, please. C. What would you like to drink? I'd like a carton of apple juice, please. D. How about you? I'd like a glass of water, please. Activity 2. Point and say. What would you like to eat? I'd like a packet of biscuits, please. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of orange juice, please. A. A packet of biscuits. B. A bar of chocolate. C. A glass of orange juice. D. A carton of lemonade. 3. Let's talk. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of noodles, please. What would you like to drink? I'd like a carton of apple juice, please. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of noodles, please. What would you like to drink? A glass of milk, please. 2. What would you like to eat? I'd like a packet of biscuits, please. What about a drink? I'd like a carton of lemonade, please. 3. Are you ready to order? Yes, I am. What would you like to eat? I'd like some fish. Anything else? Yes. A glass of orange juice, please. 4. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bar of chocolate, please. What about a drink? Can I have a glass of water, please? Yes, of course. Just a minute. All right. Brilliant. 5. Read and complete. What do English children usually eat nowadays? At lunch, Jim goes to a shop and buys a sandwich, some chocolate and some milk. Some of his friends buy food at the shop too. Some of the sandwiches are healthy. 
but some aren't. School meals are healthier, but Jim and his friends never eat at the school canteen. Well done. Activity 6. Let's sing. Healthy eating and drinking. What would you like to eat? I'd like a sandwich, please. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. No, thank you. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of milk, please. Would you like to eat? I'd like an apple, please. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. No, thank you. What would you like to eat? I'd like a sandwich, please. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. No, thank you. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of milk, please. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. No, thank you. What would you like to eat? I'd like an apple, please. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. No, thank you. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. The apples look very fresh. I like apples. B. How many apples do you eat every day? Two. I'm thirsty. Where can we get some drinks? They're over there. C. Do you like milk, Mai? Yes, I do. It's my favourite drink. D. How much milk do you drink every day? Two glasses. Activity 2. Point and say. How many bananas do you eat every day? I eat three bananas. How much water do you drink every day? I drink three bottles. A. Bananas. Three bananas. B. Rice. Four bowls. C. Sausages. Two sausages. D. Water. Three bottles. Three. Let's talk. How many bananas do you eat every day? I eat three bananas. How much water do you drink every day? I drink three bottles. Activity four. Listen and circle A, B or C. 1. What fruit do you like best, Tony? Bananas. I eat bananas every day. How many bananas do you eat every day? Two. Two. What's your favourite food, Nam? Rice with fish or soup. How much rice do you eat every day? I eat four bowls. Wow! That's a lot! Three. What is your favourite drink, Mai? Water. How much water do you drink every day? Four bottles. Four. Do you like sausages, Tom? Yes, of course. I like them very much. How many sausages do you eat every day? Two. How about you? 
I don't like sausages. Excellent. 5. Read and complete. What do you usually have for breakfast? Some bread with butter, sausages, eggs, chocolate and milk. How many sausages and eggs do you have? I usually have two sausages and one egg. How much chocolate do you eat? One or two bars. And how much milk do you drink? A big glass. You shouldn't eat too many sausages and chocolate bars. Why not? Because they're not very healthy. Excellent. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. 1. What would you like to eat? I'd like a banana, please. 2. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of milk, please. 3. How much rice do you eat every day? I eat four bowls of rice a day. Activity 2. Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. 1. What would you like to eat? I'd like an apple, please. 2. What would you like to drink? I'd like a glass of orange juice, please. 3. How many eggs do you eat every week? I eat three a week. 4. How much water do you drink? I drink four bottles a day. Well done. Activity 3. Let's chant. Healthy food and drink. One, two, three, four. What do you usually eat? I eat rice, fish and vegetables. How much rice do you eat? I eat two bowls a day. How much fish do you eat? I eat a lot a day. What fruits do you usually eat? I eat grapes, apples and oranges. How many grapes do you have? I have eight for my breakfast. How many apples do you usually eat? I have one for my lunch. What do you usually drink? I drink water and fruit juice. How much water do you drink? Six bottles a day. How much fruit juice do you drink? Two glasses a day. One, two, three, four. What do you usually eat? I eat rice, fish and vegetables. How much rice do you eat? I eat two bowls a day. How much fish do you eat? I eat a lot a day. What fruits do you usually eat? I eat grapes, apples and oranges. How many grapes do you have? I have eight for my breakfast. How many apples do you usually eat? I have one for my lunch. What do you usually drink? I drink water and fruit juice. How much water do you drink? Six bottles a day. How much fruit juice do you drink? Two glasses a day. One. Match the headings with the paragraphs. Well done. 2. Answer the questions. 1. What healthy drinks should you have for breakfast or lunch? We should have some orange or apple juice. 2. What should you drink between meals? We should drink a lot of water between meals. 3. Why are vegetables good for you? Because vegetables have vitamins. We need vitamins for a healthy body. 4. Why shouldn't you eat too much chocolate? Because it has a lot of fat and sugar. 5. What should you eat to be healthy? We should eat rice, bread and lots of vegetables and fruit. We also need some meat, fish or eggs. 
5. Write about your eating habits. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Unit 18. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen and repeat. A. Good evening and welcome to the weather forecast. Let's take a look at the weather today. B. It's cold and cloudy in Hanoi. It's cool and windy in Hue. It's hot and sunny in Ho Chi Minh City. C. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Well, it will be cold and rainy in Hanoi. D. It will be warm and foggy in Hue. In Ho Chi Minh City, it will be hot and sunny. That's the weather forecast for tomorrow. Activity 2. Point and say. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold and snowy. A. Cold. Snowy. B. Hot. Sunny. C. Warm. Stormy. D. Cool. Cloudy. 3. Let's talk. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold and snowy. Activity 4. Listen and circle A, B or C. Good evening and welcome to the weather forecast. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Well, it will be snowy and very cold in Sapa. In Hanoi, it will be foggy and windy. The weather will be fine tomorrow in Da Nang. It will be sunny, but it will also be very windy. Excellent! 5. Read and complete. Let's go for a picnic tomorrow. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Well, it will be cold and stormy. How do you know that? I watch the weather forecast on TV. We can't go for a picnic if it's stormy. Okay, let's stay home, eat popcorn and watch cartoons. Great idea. Excellent. 6. Let's play. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen and repeat. A. It's so hot today. Is it always like this in summer, Nam? Yes, it is. B. It's usually hot in summer and it rains a lot. Really? I like summer here because I can swim in the sea. C. What's summer like in your country, Peter? It's cooler than here, but it's very green. There are lots of flowers and plants. D. Really? I'd like to visit your country in summer. Activity 2. Point and say. What's spring like in your country? It's usually cold. There is a lot of wind. A. Spring. Cold. Wind. 
B. Summer. Hot. Flowers. C. Autumn. Cool. Rain. D. Winter. Very cold. Snow. 3. Let's talk. Ask and answer questions about the seasons and weather. Where do you live? I live. How many seasons are there? There are. What are they? There. Activity 4. Listen and write one word in each blank. 1. Do you like winter, Tony? Yes, I like it very much. What's winter like in your country? It's usually very cold and there's a lot of wind. 2. What's your favourite season in your country, Akiko? I like winter. Is it cold in winter? Yes, it is. And there's a lot of snow. 3. What's your favourite season, Mai? I like summer. What's summer like in your country? It's usually hot. There's a lot of rain. Well done. 5. Write about your favourite season and the weather. 1. What's your favorite season? 2. What's the weather like in your favorite season? 3. What's the weather like today? 4. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Activity 6. Let's sing. The weather song. the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? It's sunny and it's windy and there will be rain later. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like, the be like tomorrow? It will be cold, it will be wet, and there will be snow as well. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? It's sunny. And it's windy, and there will be rain later. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold, it will be wet, and there will be snow as well. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. 1. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be hot and sunny. 2. What's spring like in your country? It's usually cold and windy. 3. What's summer like in your country? It's usually hot and sunny. 4. What's autumn like in your country? It's usually cool and foggy. Activity 2. Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. 1. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold and cloudy. 
Two. What's spring like in your country? It's usually cool and foggy. Three. What's autumn like in your country? It's usually cool and stormy. Four. What's winter like in your country? It's usually cold and windy. Brilliant. Activity three. Let's chant. What will the weather be like tomorrow? One, two, three, four. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold and stormy. What's summer like in your country? It's sunny. It's hot. What's winter like in your country? It's foggy. It's snowy. One, two, three, four. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be cold and stormy. What's summer like in your country? It's sunny. It's hot. What's winter like in your country? It's foggy. It's snowy. Four. Complete the passage. My name is Kwong. I live in Canther. It is in the south of Vietnam. There are only two seasons here. They are the dry season and the rainy season. The dry season lasts from November to April. It is usually cool and dry in this time of the year. This is my favorite season because I can go for a picnic with my friends. The rainy season lasts from May to October. It is usually hot and wet. There is a lot of wind too. Brilliant. Four. Answer the questions. One. How many seasons are there in Canther? There are two. Two. What are they? They're the dry season and the rainy season. Three. What is the dry season like? It's usually cool and dry. Four. What is the rainy season like? It's usually hot and wet. Five. Why does Kwong like the dry season? Because he can go for a picnic with his friends. Five. Write about the seasons and weather. Six. Project. Seven. Color the star. Unit nineteen. Which place would you like to visit? Lesson one. Activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. The weather is beautiful in Hanoi today. Yes, it is. B. Would you like to go somewhere, Tom? Yes, I'd like to. C. Which place would you like to visit? A museum or a pagoda? I'd like to visit a pagoda. D. Let's visit Chung Quoc Pagoda. Okay, let's go. Activity two. Point and say. Which place would you like to visit? Tong Nhat Park. Or the Museum of History. I'd like to visit Tong Nhat Park. A. Tong Nhat Park. The Museum of History. B. Chang Tiang Bridge. Tian Mu Pagoda. C. Ben Tine Market. The City Theatre. D. Bai Ding Pagoda. Hua Lu Temple. Three. Let's talk. 
Which place would you like to visit? I'd like to visit Tong Nyat Park. Activity 4. Listen and circle A or B. 1. This is my first time in Ho Chi Minh City. Would you like to go to the city centre? Yes, please. Which place would you like to visit? Bentine Market or the City Theatre? I'd like to visit Bentine Market. OK, let's go now. 2. Would you like to go somewhere in Hue City? Yes, that's a good idea. Which place would you like to visit? Zhang Tian Bridge or Tian Mu Pagoda? I'd like to go to Tian Mu Pagoda. OK, I'll take you there. 3. Would you like to visit some places? Yes, that sounds interesting. Which place would you like to visit? Bai Ding Pagoda or Hualu Temple? I'd like to go to Bai Ding Pagoda. OK, I'll go with you. Brilliant! 5. Read and complete. It's Sunday today. Let's go somewhere in the city. Which place would you like to visit? Thong Nat Park or the History Museum? I'd like to visit the museum. That's a good idea. Where is it? It's in the center of the city. OK, let's go now. Well done. Activity 6. Let's sing. Which place would you like to visit? Where would you like to go? The museum or the theatre? Where would you like to go? The pagoda or the zoo? I'd like to go to the museum And the theatre too I'd like to visit the pagoda And I'd like to go to the zoo Where would you like to go? The museum or the theatre? Where would you like to go? The pagoda or the zoo? I'd like to go to the museum And the theatre too I'd like to visit the pagoda And I'd like to go to the zoo Lesson 2 Activity 1 Look, listen and repeat A What did you do yesterday? I visited Changkwa Pagoda B. Where is it? It's on an island in the middle of West Lake. C. What do you think of it? It's more beautiful than I expected. D. The pagoda is really beautiful. I enjoyed the visit very much. That's great. I think I'll visit it one day. Activity 2. Point and say. What do you think of Ha Long Bay? It's more attractive than I expected. A. Ha Long Bay. Attractive. B. Dumsen Park. Exciting. C. Tule Zoo. Interesting. D. Phu Quoc Island. Beautiful. 3. Let's talk. Where did you go last month, Tom? 
I went to Fuqua. What do you think of it? It's more beautiful than I expected. Activity 4. Listen and circle A or B. 1. Where did you go last month, Tom? I went to Fuqua. Great! What do you think of it? Well, it was more beautiful than I expected. I liked the seafood. It was delicious. It sounds great. I want to visit Hukwok one day. 2. Where were you last week, Fong? I was in Ho Chi Minh City. What did you do there? I visited Ben Tain Market and Dam Sen Park. Oh, what did you think of Dam Sen Park? It was more exciting than I expected. 3. What did you do last weekend, Tony? I went to Nashang. What do you think of it? It's more attractive than I expected. The food is cheap and the people are friendly. Great! I'll go to Nyachung next year. Well done. 5. Read and complete. What did you do last weekend? I went to Canther. What do you think of it? It's more exciting than I expected. The food was delicious and the people were friendly. I had a good time there. Will you go there again? Yes, I will. Well done. 6. Let's play. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. 1. Which place would you like to visit? Changjian Bridge or Tianmu Pagoda? 2. I'd like to visit Tianmu Pagoda. 3. What do you think of Tianmu Pagoda? 4. It's more beautiful than I expected. Activity 2. Listen and mark the sentence intonation. Then, say the sentences aloud. 1. Which place would you like to visit? Tongnya Park or the Museum of History? I'd like to visit the Museum of History. 2. What do you think of the Museum of History? It's more interesting than I expected. 3. Which place would you like to visit? Bai Din Pagoda or Hua Lu Temple? I'd like to visit Hua Lu Temple. 4. What do you think of Hua Lu Temple? It's more attractive than I expected. Well done. Activity 3. Let's chant. What do you think of it? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I am at Soi Tien Park. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? It's more beautiful, more attractive, more interesting, and more exciting than I expected. Here I am at Soi Tien Park. What do you think of it? What do you think of it? It's more beautiful, more attractive, more interesting, and more exciting than I expected. 1. Complete the passage. My name's Tom. Yesterday, I visited Tranqua Pagoda. It is on an island in the middle of West Lake and not far from the center of Harmoli. I went there by bike. Tranqua Pagoda is very quiet. 
It is more beautiful than I expected. There are a lot of statues and trees in the yard. I met some friends there. My friends and I learn more about the history of Hanoi after the visit. Brilliant. Two. Answer the questions. One. When did Tom visit Tranquoc Pagoda? Tom visited it yesterday. Two. Where is Tranquoc Pagoda? It's on an island in the middle of West Lake. Three. What does Tom think of Tranquoc Pagoda? It is more beautiful than he expected. Four. What did Tom and his friends learn about? They learned more about the history of Hanoi after the visit. Five. Write about your last summer holiday. Six. Project. Seven. Color the star. Unit twenty. Which one is more exciting? Life in the city or life in the countryside? Lesson one. Activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Where are you going for your summer holiday, Tom? I'm going back to my hometown. B. Where in the USA do you live? In New York City. C. What's it like? It's very big. D. Which one is bigger, New York City or Sydney? I think New York City is. Activity two, point and say. Which one is smaller, Huan Kiem Lake or West Lake? I think Huan Kiem Lake is a small Huan Kiem Lake, West Lake. B large Bain Tain Market, Dong Swan Market. C. Noisy. Life in the city. Life in the countryside. D. Busy. Life in the city. Life in the mountains. Three. Let's talk. Which one is smaller, Huan Kiem Lake or West Lake? I think Huan Kiem Lake is. Activity four. Listen and write. One. Where in Australia do you live, Tony? I live in Sydney. What's it like? It's noisy. Which one is noisier, Sydney or Nyachung? I think Sydney is. Two. Where do you live, Linda? I live in London. What's it like? It's large. Which one is larger, London or Danang? I think London is. Three. Do you live in New York City, Tom? Yes, I do. Is it a big city? Yes, it is. And it's busy. Which one is busier, New York City or Dallas? I think New York City is. Excellent. Five. Read and complete. One. Sydney is smaller than New York City. New York City is bigger than Sydney. Two. Dalat is quieter than New York City. New York City is noisier than Dalat. Three. 
New York City is larger than Not Rang. Not Rang is smaller than New York City. Well done. Activity six. Let's sing. Which one is? Lesson two, activity one. Look, listen, and repeat. A. What are you going to do on your summer holiday? I'm going to stay with my grandparents. B. Where in Vietnam do they live? In Ha Long City. C. What's it like? It's Very beautiful. D. Which one is more beautiful, Ha Long City or Nha Trang? I think Ha Long City is. Activity two. Point and say. Which one is more beautiful, Ha Long City or Nha Trang? I think Nha Trang is. A. Beautiful. Ha Long City. Nha Trang. B. Expensive. Life in Da Nang. Life in Ho Chi Minh City. C. Exciting. Life in the city. Life in the countryside. Three. Let's talk. One. Which one is bigger, London or Hue? I think London is. Two. Which one is more beautiful? Ha Long City or Nha Trang? I think Ha Long City is. Activity four. Listen and circle A, B, or C. One. Where do your grandparents live, Nan? They live in Dalat. What's it like? It's nice and peaceful. Which one is more peaceful? Dalat or London? 
I think Dala is. Two. Do your grandparents live in Hanoi? No, they don't. Where do they live? They live in Ha Long City. Which one is more beautiful, Ha Long City or Sydney? I think Ha Long City is. Three. Where do your grandparents live, Guan? They live in Dala. Oh, it's very far from here. Yes, it is. Which one is more exciting, New York City or Dala? I think New York City is. Four. Do your grandparents live in Dala, Mai? Yes, they do. Which one is more exciting, Dala or London? I think London is. Excellent. Five. Read and complete. Where do you come from, Tony? Sydney, Australia. Oh, it's a very big city, right? Yes, it is. Which one is bigger, Sydney or Da Nang? I think Sydney is. And which one is more beautiful? Well, they are both very nice, but I think Sydney is more beautiful than Da Nang. Brilliant. Six. Let's play. Lesson three. Activity one. Listen and repeat. One. Which one is bigger, London or Hue? I think London is. Two. Which one is more beautiful, Ha Long City or Nha Chiang? I think Ha Long City is. Activity two. Listen and mark the sentence intonation. Then say the sentences aloud. One. Which one is bigger? New York City, or London? I think London is. Two. Which one is larger, New York City, or Da Nang? I think New York City is. Three. Which one is more beautiful, London, or Sydney? I think London is. Excellent. Activity three. Let's chant. Which one is more? One, two, three, four. Which one is more beautiful? Which one is more peaceful? Which one is more exciting? London or Hanoi? I think Hanoi is. It's more beautiful. It's more peaceful, and it's more exciting. One, two, three, four. Which one is more beautiful? Which one is more peaceful? Which one is more exciting? London or Hanoi? I think Hanoi is. It's more beautiful, it's more peaceful, and it's more exciting. Four. Read and answer. Hello, my name's Anna. I live in Liverpool, a very big city in England. It has a lot of people and interesting buildings. It's very noisy, but I enjoy living here because life is exciting. During summer holidays, I often stay with my grandparents in Kings Lynn, a town in the east of England, in a county called Norfolk. It's much smaller and quieter than Liverpool. There are not so many people there.
But the shops are really nice and things are cheaper. I like Norfolk because the people are very friendly. 5. Write about where you live. 6. Project. 7. Color the star. Review 4. Short story. Cat and mouse. Activity 1. Listen and tick. 1. What would you like to eat, Gwen? I'd like to eat some sandwiches. How many would you like? Two, please. I'm hungry. Two. Would you like to visit the zoo, Mai? No, not today. Which place would you like to visit? The museum or the pagoda? I'd like to visit the museum. OK. Let's go together. Excellent. Activity 2. Listen and number. 1. How can I get to the post office, Hong? Go straight ahead. Then turn right at the end of the street. It's between the supermarket and the cinema. Thanks a lot, Fong. You're welcome. 2. Where's Huan Kiam Lake, Nam? Is it far from here? Yes, it is. Do you want to go there? Yes, I do. How can I get there? You can take a bus from here. 3. What's your favourite season, Mai? I like summer. What's summer like in your country? It's often hot. 4. What did you do yesterday afternoon, Tom? I went to the zoo. What do you think of it? It's more exciting than I thought. That's great. I want to visit the zoo one day. Well done. Activity 3. Listen and complete. 1. What's the weather like in Hanoi today? It's cold and windy. And what will the weather be like tomorrow? Sorry, I don't know. 2. What would you like to eat, Linda? I'd like some rice and fish, please. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I'd like a glass of milk, please. Brilliant. 4. Read and complete. Hello. My name's Tony. I come from Sydney, a big city in Australia. There are lots of big modern buildings and it's very noisy. There are often traffic jams during the rush hour. But it's a very exciting place and I like living there. My grandparents live in Brooklyn, a small town about 50 kilometers from Sydney. Life is quiet and peaceful there. There aren't many people and there isn't much traffic. There are a lot of sheep. The people are nice and friendly. I like living in Sydney, but I also like visiting my grandparents. 5. Write about you. Short story. Cat and Mouse. Part 4. Activity 1. Read and listen to the story. Hello, Chit. What are you doing? I'm talking to my cousin Mary in America. Hello, Mary. Do you remember me? Hello, Mew. Yes, of course I remember you. How are you? I'm very well. Are you in New York? No. I'm on vacation. Where are you? I'm in Miami, in Florida. Which one is nicer, New York or Miami? Oh, uh... That's a difficult question.
New York is more interesting than Miami. There are lots of theaters and cinemas and museums. But Miami is warmer, and I like going to the beach. I see. Nice to talk to you, Mary. Bye. Bye. It was nice to talk to Mary. Was it? I didn't talk to her. Two, answer the questions. Three, unscramble these words from the story. Remember, vacation, difficult, theaters, warmer. Four, read and complete. Do you live in the capital city? No, I don't. I live in a smaller town. Which one is nicer, your town or the capital? My town is nicer. It's smaller and more peaceful. Do you like the capital city? Yes, I do. It's much more interesting than my town. Would you like to live there? Not really. Brilliant. Five. Work in pairs. Talk about your last holiday. Six. Read and match. Brilliant.